Sin City, Heather Locklear. From ER, Laura Tierney. And Pulitzer Prize winning author, Frank McCourt. Please, must not wake up people watching at home. All right. Ow! Ow! I like people to do that when I come out. Ow! Ow! It means nothing. Ow! That means nothing. All right. Watch this. Ow! We have a uh, big, big show tonight. And good Lord, our country is still a mess. And none of us really seem to care. <laughs> Still no uh, president after, what is it, like a week? We, over a week now. Conan's over a week. President. Thank you. <laughs> he said. She said Conan should be president, and one-eighth of the audience agreed. <laughs> the rest want Buchanan. All right, we have... Thank you very much. No, this is... Uh, we, still, we still have no president. Still have no president. And uh, they're still counting votes, and not just Florida. I don't know if you're aware of this, but they're still counting in New Mexico. And at the moment, Al Gore is leading by only 375 votes. That's the latest. Yeah, meanwhile, meanwhile, George W. Bush says he didn't even campaign in New Mexico because he doesn't like to travel overseas. <laughs> I don't want to go there. He's just not interested. That's no part of it. Gore and Bush. All right. I'll work on those. Thank you. Uh, actually, the, uh, the recount, the recount in New Mexico is so close. This is, sounds like a lie, but it's true. If it ends up a tie, their state law says that the winner is decided by drawing straws or playing a hand of poker. That's the state law. It's true. That's right, yeah, this is according to New Mexico's Attorney General, Pete Rose. That's how he wanted it. What he wanted. That's interesting, the, uh, the Fox Network, which was the first channel to say that George W. Bush had won the presidency on election night, so they were the first ones to get it wrong. They've just unveiled a new slogan, which is the number one network for political coverage. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Fox's, uh, Fox's second choice for a slogan was, we get it wrong first, which I like. Okay, uh, that's... Yeah, people hate NBC more. All right. Uh, and then last thing I'll mention, Florida, of course, where all the uh, excitement is, Florida is still waiting for more than 1,000 absentee votes coming from Israel. Or as my people call it, Israel. Uh, so they're still waiting for 1,000 votes. However, the Florida voters in Israel are very angry because they say they punched the wrong hole and accidentally voted for Yasser Arafat. <laughs> so that was depressing. <laughs> Let's discuss tonight's show. We have an amazing show for you this evening uh, from Spin City, the beautiful, the lovely Heather Locklear. <laughs> That woke you up. Max just put down his book, huh? <laughs> Heather Locklear from, uh, we also have from ER, Maura Tierney is on the show. <laughs> Maura Tierney's gonna join us and one of my favorite people, Pulitzer Prize winning author, Frank McCourt on the program.
And right over here, another, uh, an old salt from Ireland, Max Weinberg. <laughs> and the Max Weinberg. Max. How about you, Max? Gentlemen, 